Hello folks, my name is Kevin Wilson. I'm a senior solution engineer here with Blue Prism. And today we're going to go over Blue Prism Web Services. The agenda for today's video will be to show the UDDI, how do we expose the WSDL using a Chrome plugin called Whistler to initiate a web service call. And finally, we want you to understand how to expose and conceal processes and objects as web services in Blue Prism. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is bring up Chrome. And you can see now that I have a bookmark, basically, that will take us to the UDDI, the registry for the particular web service. And as you can see also, the default port for web services in Blue Prism is port 8181. So let's click on that bookmark. So here we see the UDDI with the web services listed. And as you can see here, we've exposed both some processes. The American Bank CRM is a web service and the process populate the customer queue as a web service as well. And we've also exposed a business object, American Bank Basic Actions. So now the first thing that we want to do is to start up one of these processes. We'll look at the WSDL first, and then we'll actually start up and initiate the process via web service. So the first one I want to show is the American Bank CRM process. So we'll click on the WSDL link. And there we can see all the WSDL information, the bindings, port, service, etc. And if I go to my toolbar here and click on WSDLer, WSDLer to initiate that, we will see a nice, neat uh, listings. And think of Whistler uh, for those that, that have used SOAP UI in the past as part of a development effort. I think of this as a SOAP UI plugin for Chrome. So we wanted to run the American Bank CRM service. We could click on it. And you'll see the request and response down here at the bottom. There are no parameters for this one. And let's go over and click go and initiate that blue prism process again we're initiating it via a web service call we'll click go we'll see the loading on this site and if we bring up the interactive client we will now see that american bank crm is running so we actually did start it up again via web service call not from dragging and dropping as we would manually the process over to the resource or a resource over to the process we actually just started it and it completed now via web service call. So let's do one more. We'll go back to Chrome. We'll bring up the UDDI again. And as we saw with the American bank process, there were no parameters, but let's have some fun and go to popular uh, customer queue. We'll bring up that WSDL. We'll bring up WSDLer again. Select populate uh, customer queue. And now we can see that this web service call actually has a parameter, which is a decimal. So we will ask it that this particular process in Blue Prism grabs work and puts it into a queue, the customer's queue. And we're going to ask it to grab five cases and put them in the customer's queue. So if we go over back to the interactive client again. We click on customers we can see that right now there are no items in the queue at all so let's minimize that we'll switch back to chrome and if i hit go we can see down here at the bottom that it's now loaded we'll go back to blue prism if we would look here um, on our sessions we see that the process populate uh, customer queue ran it completed and now if we look at the customer's queue we'll see that we now have our five items we can sort those by priority etc that were created so the last thing that we want to look at as a part of this video is how to expose or conceal processes and objects web service calls so that they are either available or they're not so once again we'll go back to Chrome We'll bring up the UDDI 
and let's say that we no longer want to expose the, the populate a uh, customer queue web service we want to hide that now so let's go into blue prism and do so so now we go to the system tab go to exposure and let's say we want to conceal this guy populate customer queue we'll hit conceal and we go back now to the eddi and do a refresh we'll see that it's no longer exposed same thing for the business object if we no longer no longer wish to expose american bank basic actions same way we go under object this time we click on exposure we can go here to banking and let's say that we want to hide that one so we do conceal go back and do a refresh again and we can see that right now we have no objects exposed for further information i would urge you to go to bp portal under documents and read the web services user guide which will give you much more information as well as some more insight into web services in general in regards to blue prism thanks again hopefully this video was helpful as it will be placed in the asset library for all to consume thank you very much